Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Probably Got This, and today I have another short PSA video for you all. These videos are designed to keep you informed and help you not miss anything of importance in The Elder Scrolls Online. Real quick, I just want to give a shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. Thank you so much for the support. I'll have more on that at the end of the video. As you all know, the Update 33 and Ascending Tide launch on PC was really rocky. It had major server issues, people couldn't log out, players were getting removed from guilds, it was just really bad. Well, the studio director of ESO was able to explain what happened in a letter to the community on the forums a little while back, and I'm not going to sit here and read the forum post to you, but what it basically did was mess up the Explorers event that they had for about 4-5 to five days in the game. In the Explorers event, you could get 100% XP buffs, increased gold gain, and increased harvest nodes. But so many people were having so many issues actually logging on, plus they had maintenance for like a day or two that really took a lot of people out of the event and didn't let them actually utilize the event. So to remedy this, what Zoss is going to do for the login rewards for April is the first day that you log in, you will get five 150% XP scrolls, which is massive. Now, why is this such a massive thing? Well, when the month of April actually starts, it will be the second day of the Jester's Festival event. The Jester Festival event is going to have a 100% XP boost that you can activate at any time on any character for the remainder of the event for basically a whole week. This XP boost can stack with those 150% XP scrolls that you get as daily login rewards. That means that during the festival you can get 250% extra XP boosts for at least 5 hours as a minimum of XP boosts. What that is doing is it's not taking into account the Pledge of Mara boost that you can get, the ESO Plus XP boost, or any training armor you have on. You can get over 300% extra XP if you have some of that stuff activated as well so make sure you are logging in also since these are login rewards if you watch this video say two weeks from now and you haven't logged in in the month of April it's okay because the first time you log in it will give you those five scrolls and that's not even the biggest thing as soon as the Justice Festival ends on April 7th the next ESO event should be starting right after that which will be the anniversary Jubilee event this is the event that celebrates ESO's birthday. You're going to be able to get ridiculous amounts of motifs, and the most important thing is you're going to get another 100% XP permanent boost for two hours whenever you want to activate it on any character. You're going to be eating the Jubilee cake, and that will be active for about two weeks. So essentially, the first three weeks of April is going to be a great opportunity to level your characters in ESO or grind CP points. You don't want to miss this if you're an ESO player and if you want to come back to the game and get some levels in, you really don't want to miss these login rewards. Some quick tips I want to give you about using these XP scrolls though. So when you activate these XP scrolls, they are going to be active when you are actually logged on to your character. So as long as you're not on the game, it will not be activated uh, for you and the timer will stop. So what that means is, is don't activate this XP scroll and then just waste 30 minutes of it because the XP scrolls last for an hour, okay? So what I would do is if you wanna level, then find out a way that you wanna level. Again, I'm gonna have a XP uh, grind guide in the description for you to help you with leveling. If you want, uh, so figure out what you wanna do to level and then uh, before you start, activate it then and if you're gonna do dungeons, don't activate the XP until you get towards the end of the dungeon make sure to activate it and then you get that big xp drop when you finish your random dungeon just don't do a dungeon and then 30 minutes later you've wasted your xp scroll make sure to do it at the end of the dungeon and if you continue to do dungeons then just um you know power through as many as you can on that xp scroll but that's some tips i want to give you with it because some people sometimes waste them and i don't want you to think that 
you can just sit there for 30 minutes. You can't, you have to, you need to use it. So if you're watching this video during the Jester's Festival event, you can check out my Jester's Festival guide up here in the top of the screen. And if you wanna have help on leveling your characters, I'll have another leveling guide here in the screen as well that you can check out on the best grind spots for 2022 in ESO. And if you're watching this during the Anniversary Jubilee event, then I'll have a guide in the description eventually for that. But thank you again to my patrons and YouTube members. If you wanna check out the Patreon, check out the link below in the description. And if you would like to come by and watch a stream, twitch.tv slash got this Tuesday through Friday. We're live there. Our Discord's down below and our website, probably got this.com. But until next time, y'all, just remember, have faith, be great. And I'll see you guys on ESO.